Okay, we have a nice integral here today from the MIT integration be 2025, regular season number three. We have the integral from zero to one over 2025, sum from one to infinity, 2025 x to the n, e to the minus 2025 x over n factorial dx. Okay, the first thing I notice here, it's just that we've got 2025 in multiple places, especially, you know, we have exactly this 2025 x, 2025 x with this here. It makes me think I can simplify it with just a simple u substitution. But let me solve for x. So if we have x is going to be u over 2025, take a derivative to get a dx value. This is going to be 1 over 2025 du. So we'll go ahead and substitute. When I plug this in here, that's just going to be 1. So that's really nice, simplifying the bounds. Plug in 0 we get zero. Then we're going to do the substitution. It's going to be inside the sum. This thing now is just going to become u to the n. The n factorial doesn't change. This becomes e to the minus u. And then dx is this. Let's take the constant part out front. And then here what we see, this e minus u, this doesn't need to be inside the sum because there's no n. So I can actually just pull this out here still within the integral, but outside of the sum. So let me do a quick rewrite to get that over here. And then now you might recognize this thing. This is actually really similar to our power series for e to the u. Here's our power series for e to the x. The only difference from what we have here, I mean, other than the variable, which doesn't matter, is we're starting at zero. So you know, we could kind of do it a couple different ways, but let's strip out one term on this. So if we strip out the zero term, just plugging in a zero on the um, exponent here, x to the zero is one, zero factorial is one. So I can write this as one plus the sum, n equals zero to infinity of this stuff. And then to match it with what we have here, let's just subtract off the one, subtract off one. And so we can say for this sum, this thing's just gonna be e to the x minus 1. So back to the problem, for this thing we'll just plug in e to the u minus 1 and distribute it, we can distribute this into here. So what's going to happen, we have 1 over 2025 20, integral from 0 to 1, e minus u times e to the u, e to the 0, that's just 1, e minus u times minus 1, we get minus e minus u du. But what happened, now we've got a really easy integral. So we have the constant out front. Integrating this, integral of 1, that's just u. Integral here, e minus u, is going to be minus e minus u, minus times minus, plus evaluate from 0 to 1. So let's just evaluate it. Constant in front, 1 over 2025. 20, plug in a 1 first. We're going to have 1 plus e to the minus 1. I'll write that as... I guess 1 over e, right? Then minus, plug in a 0, that's nothing. Plug in 0 here, we just get a 1, so we're going to have a minus 1 there. 1 minus 1, 0. Distribute this, multiply this in. For my final solution of this, we just get 1 over 2025e, and that's it. Okay, I like it. Clever problem, interesting solution, good use of 2025. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.